Hey guys, G Dog here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry if you are a returning viewer, you may notice my voice is a little different today. I've been under my weather this week, but I really, really wanted to get a video done on this game as it came out yesterday. I got sent some preview code for this the other week, and I've been playing it on and off for the last week or so. And I really wanted to show you guys because it's an awesome little title this. So yes, welcome to Concrete Jungle. Now this is a city builder with a bit of a twist. Uh, you basically build up your city with cards. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to hop into the campaign mode. And we're going to go back to the beginning and I'll show you what this is all about. So if we start here on the tutorial, it will sort of give you an idea of how this works. It's got some great voice acting, I've got to say. So, this is Hollyville. Isn't it lovely? Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey, and I'm here to show you the ropes. Oh, thanks, Lainey. Please do. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard. You can also... In front of you, there is a small grid. Upon Those buildings are determined by a series of cards. Right. Let's draw some now and get started. That will do nicely. At the top here is the next card in your build list. It's a school. Pretty useful. On the card it is. is a small 3x3 three three grid with a building icon in the middle. This displays the building's effect on its adjacent tiles. Blue squares represent plus one point, so the school will give plus one points to the tiles immediately adjacent to it. Right, so, we the pop this selected, down. You can now place it. I can, Notice yeah. Notice how the blue highlights represent the area effect as displayed on the card. It does. Let's put the school here. Let's. So as you can see, we've got a little build there. We've got a little school there, which is lovely. You'll notice there are now some plus score markers on the empty tiles that were affected by the school. If we place point collecting buildings on those positive scoring tiles, we'll get points. It just so happens the next card in your build list. Notice how it so let right. So houses are basically the point collecting buildings. So now if I pop this here, we're gonna get one point. We now we have one point due to the combination. Yeah, 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 yeah. In order to next up this card, but cruise select. Skip all this. So basically, to, to pass each row, we have to match uh, the number here. So if I put a car wash next to this. That's going to affect my point uh, collecting building, and that's going to knock it up to a two. First column, thanks to our house, school, and car wash. Also, notice how the red negative area effect from the car wash cancelled out one of the points from the school. It did, unfortunately. Now the first column. So that column is going to get completed, and we'll move on to the next column. See that? The column has been cleared. It also means you get a new empty column to build in here on the right. The immediate aim of the game, those are the basics. Fill this, if any. All right, so a factory, that's just gonna give us negative effects everywhere. So if we pop that there, and then we wanna aim on getting this one point up to a two point, so we can move on. Now brewery, that's not gonna do much, but let's pop it over here. And let's pop another one over here. Can I not put it here? No? I don't want to put it there. I don't want to do that. Oh, it's explaining. So basically, if we've messed up a column, we can use one of our lives here. We've got three lives, and that's going to get rid of that column. Us. So let's let's work on getting this next column done. So ours is uh, we don't want to put it on that minus one or that's gonna cost us a point. So we'll put it like that and then we can put a school here and that'll get our 
plus one onto the houses and make it a completed column. Yay! Now we've got a school here. So obviously the red squares are going to negative effect. But if we put those like that, we're going to get a plus two here. So let's put our house there and that will complete that column. Whoop. Right, so shops are a plus one. So let's pop some shops there. Uh, so that's going to make this square a two. So we can put our little house there and that will complete that column. Right, so our last place, uh, now we've got negative ones here, so we really want to put it there. Then we're going to put a brewery over here. Car wash isn't really going to help us anywhere. Uh, so let's just pop that there. The brewery ain't going to help us. Uh, that will give us a plus one effect. Let's put that there, and then we can put the supermarket, which has got the... A row of three blues, which is going to give us a positive effect. Meaning that that's going to go up to a two. And that will complete that column. Way! And I believe that's Looking everything for, for this challenge. level. So let's try a slightly harder level. And uh, we'll show you some of the other mechanics. Right. Uh, ooh, don't know where to go. Should we go to, go to here? Let's try, oh, I can try this one. So this is the Grapefruit District. Oh yes. Right then. Did you hear the news? Caribou City has a new mayor. Some guy called Selfridge. He's Can't mental. He's a nutter. But welcome to Grapefruit District. So it's a perfect site for redevelopment. You've been, up until now, you've been using a preset selection. You always start. You can tell a card's look. Right. There, this number, when you Skip play, all when this. Although the voice acting is tremendous. I want to get on and show you a bit more. Right. So we've got to make rows of threes or columns of three, should I say now. Now, a good thing to do with these, like restaurants, you can see those three red squares here. And if we put them off the map, they're not going to affect uh, our building at all. So, let's do that. Same with the factory. Uh, so, let's put that in the corner. You get one every time the yellow bar fills to its maximum. That's true. So, let's go and get a new card. So, yeah, like she was saying, every time we fill up this bar... Uh, which is caused by the number in the yellow square here. We can pick a new card. So, ugh, chemical plant. Although that's very good for getting other cards. We may want to, you know, think about getting, yeah, like another restaurant would be quite handy. Good choice. That should keep you going for a little while. It should. So, shops, uh, we could put one here. And that's going to make that a two-way. So let's do that. Now this, the green card, it lets us actually select uh, what square it's going to uh, impact positively. So if we pop this here, we can actually choose it and it will make this one now worth three points. Awesome. Now I have totally overlooked this first column, so I don't think we're going to be able to save it. So I'm going to plan ahead. I'm going to put a school here. Uh, so that's going to make that a 4, and it's actually going to make this a 1. So let's pop a restaurant here. That's going to make that a 2 now. And then a park square. Now these are really good. They're going to uh, affect quite a large amount of areas, as you can see. So let's pop that there, and then that's actually done like those two rows. Awesome. So I'm going to pop a house here for this column. And then I just need to get like one more, like, oh, we need a plus two on here. So I am actually going to abandon this column now. So that's going to cost me a life. But it's going to move forward and the four column is going to be complete. And then this next column is also going to be complete. 
Now, the thing I've not done yet is you can actually have like multiple point collecting buildings on a row. So if I pop this house here, you see that's gone up to two now. Basically meaning that we're getting one point from this house and one point from this house. So then I can pop a green uh, like here and then we can add to that and that's going to be that column done. And then we're on to the next column and that's actually going to be automatically complete for me as well. Awesome. Right, so we've got quite a bare, bare path here. So we need to work on getting this up. So let's pop a house there. Uh, we could pop a restaurant here, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean to pop that down, but I have now, so... Yeah, we could pop a school here, and that's gonna, you know, make that go up by one. Uh, factory is not gonna help us anywhere, so... Uh, let's dump that over here, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Now, if we pop some shops here, that's gonna make this go up by one. Uh, and if we pop a house here, that's gonna give us two points. And then I guess we could pop a house here also. And then we could pop a house up there. Right, so a restaurant here will definitely do us. But we need to get one of these up by one, so I might not actually use that. I might use a brewery over here. Let's pop it over there. Right, we are going to have to use this restaurant at some point. Uh, so let's pop that there for now. Uh, hmm. We could pop a house there, I guess. Right, so we've got a park square now. That's going to help us out quite a lot. That's going to give us bonuses all around. So let's do that. And that's going to give us two more columns completed. Awesome. So yeah, it is a really nice little sort of puzzly city building deck sort of card game based game. And I really do like it. And it's definitely worth your time to check out. So definitely do have a look at this, guys. It's on Steam uh, as of now. Oh, was that not a green? I meant to put a green down. Well, let's do that. That's going to give us two. Oh, we need shops. Let's put this down because that's going to give us bonuses to them. And then let's put these shops here and that's going to make that go up to three. That means we're going to complete that column. Awesome. Right, so we can put a house here. And we can put a house here. So we've already done that row. We just need to find somewhere. Uh, we just need to increase this, I guess, by one. Sorry guys. <clears throat> right, as this is all like industry, we're gonna pop that there. Uh we need a house. We'll pop that there. Oh we get a new card, let's get a new card. So we've got Park Square. Or oh, we could use a theatre. Look at how good that theatre card is, that's good. We're gonna go with the theatre card. Oh, we actually get a couple, so let's get another green, I think. Oh we've got another card. Oh, we'll have another theatre going then. Right, so the school, that will bump us up a little there. So that's going to do those next two columns for us. Awesome. So now we need to look at improving this next row. So we've got a house there, that's collecting. That's also collecting, but we need something to actually bump it up with. So... Yes, a park square will do that for us. So let's pop that there. And that's going to do that column for us. Awesome. Right, so on this column, uh, we could just pop some houses here. Like so. And then we can pop the theatre down here. And that's going to bump up those two ones to twos. And I think that's going to be the level, or have we got to do this last one? I think we've got to do the last row, so let's do that real quick. Let's pop a house there, and pop a theatre just in front of it. So yeah, 
just this has just been a quick look at concrete jungle which is out on steam now i'll leave a link in the description if you want to check this out yourselves but definitely worth picking up it's one of those really nice little addictive puzzle games but yeah i hope you've enjoyed guys and i'll see you later bye Woo.